Now that we've seen how dichotomous keys work, we're going to practice making a dichotomous key. And we're going to use these fruit here as the objects that we're going to classify. So just before we start making our key, we'll go through some of the main tips for making a good dichotomous key. Tips for making dichotomous keys. Firstly, when we're choosing features of our objects to classify, we want to choose clear and obvious features that everyone can understand. So with our fruit, we'll choose things like color and shape that everyone knows what they mean, what the words mean. We don't need to be too scientific. The next tip is choose features that are not changing. For example, if we're classifying people, things like hairstyle and the clothes that the people are wearing, these are things that can change easily, so we don't want to pick these features. We want to pick features that stay the same. So things like how tall someone is, or their shoe size, things like that. Lastly, the final tip is no opinions. So features that we choose need to be really clear. We don't want to use things like tall or short because these words are a bit ambiguous. We don't know exactly what they mean because a person might be tall, but compared to a giraffe, a person is not tall in that case. So no opinions, no changing features. All right, so we'll start making our dichotomous key. And the first step we always do is start at the top by naming the whole group of objects that we're classifying. So in this case, we're classifying fruits. And just before we go on, we're going to be making the chart version of a dichotomous key. Remember, there's a table version as well, but a chart is much easier to do when we're first learning. So we've got our fruits at the top. Now we always draw two branches because it's dichotomous key means two. And now we think of a question or a category that has two options and we'll separate some of our fruits from the others. So I'm thinking we'll choose round against long. So we're asking what shape is the fruit? And we can see the banana and the beans, they're going to go into the long category. And the apple, the capsicum, and the yellow apple, that will be in the round category. So each of the round and the long groups they both have more than one object in them still. So we need to think of another question and repeat the same process again. So out of our round objects, let's think of a question that can separate those round objects from each other. And I'm looking at the shape of the skin and the capsicum has little lumps in the skin. So I'm going to say, lumpy skin or smooth skin. And now the yellow capsicum is the only one that has lumpy skin and is round. So we finish classifying the yellow capsicum and we can write that down at the bottom of the branch here. Round, lumpy skin, 
is the yellow capsicum. So now if we go across to the smooth group, we still have the green apple and the yellow apple. So I think color will be the best way to separate these two objects. So the question we're asking now is, is it green or is it yellow? And now we've classified the two apples. And we can write those down at the bottom of their branches of the dichotomous key. We have the green apple and the yellow apple. All right, so we've classified all of the round fruits. Now we just need to classify the two long fruits, which are the banana and the beans. And again, I think color will be the easiest question to ask here. So in the long category, we'll ask green and yellow once again. The beans are green and the banana is yellow. So we finish classifying all of the fruits. And we'll write beans and banana at the bottom of the branch. Okay, so here is our finished dichotomous key. We've classified all five of the fruits. And this key would let anybody classify these five fruits to find the name of them, even if they'd never learnt the name of the fruit before. Just one final comment, which is, there isn't one specific way to make a dichotomous key. With these fruits, we might have chosen to do colour as the first question green and yellow, and then ask questions after that. But it's up to you when you're making your key to decide on those questions. So there are many ways to make a key. Many possible keys.